I'm Tina Fisher. I'm the principal at Washington Pre-K Center. We hope that this video provides you with information about our program and answers any questions you may have. I encourage you to watch along with your child. In the video, you're going to get to meet all of our teachers and hear about all the exciting things that we do here at Pre-K. Washington Pre-K Cubs, we can't wait to meet you. Welcome to Washington Pre-K, where the adventure begins. Our mission at Washington Pre-K Center, along with family and community, is to inspire passionate, socially responsible, lifelong learners through a safe, fun, positive, and enriched learning environment. It's never too late to begin preparing for your child's first year of school. Talk to your child positively about coming to school. Drive by our campus. Show your child their school. Make it really exciting. Come and visit our playground over this summer and talk about this is the place that they are going to get to be. One of the most important things you can do is to read with your child. Children should be read to daily. Choose a variety of books with lots of different pictures, lots of rhymes, nursery rhymes. Visit the Ponca City Library this summer and explore what they have to offer. Something really important that we encourage families to do is to foster independence. Help your child learn to help themselves. Here are lots of ideas that you can do. Teach your child to say his or her first and last name upon request. That's really important for lots of reasons, including safety. Use the restroom independently. This includes getting in and out of clothing. Wipe their nose. Put on and take off jackets and coats. We will always help with buttons and zippers and things like that, but we want them to be able to clothe themselves. Ask for help if needed. Use table manners. Something else that we would love for families to practice before coming to school is increasing your child's attention span to a particular task. Try having your child look at books independently for a set amount of time. Play a board game with them until the board game is completed. Um, let them color independently also for a set amount of time. Considerations for COVID, we're not sure what, um, what to consider yet for next year as far as protocols, but go ahead and practice your child putting and removing their mask or face covering and also wearing the mask for an extended period of time. And you can even do that around the house. Preparing your child for academic readiness, help them get a jump start on basic skills. These are skills that we're gonna teach but it's great if they come knowing a little bit about um, shapes, colors, letters, and numbers. Let them color, paint, glue, and use scissors, definitely with supervision, but these things are gonna help increase their awareness of how to use tools and increase their um, function of those fine motor skills. Attendance matters. Sometimes we hear it's just pre-K. It is pre-K and it matters that they are here all day, every day. That is the best policy that we can encourage is all day, every day. So here's a look at our standards. I'm gonna read through them quickly. These are the Oklahoma Academic Standards for English Language Art. Your child will learn how to read their first name, recite the alphabet, recognize 15 upper and lowercase letters. We shoot for 26, but the standard is 15. Count words in a sentence, that's an auditory skill. Another auditory skill is listening for words that rhyme. Then we're gonna teach them how to write their name, recognize words, uh, that words are made up of letters and separated by spaces, so the difference between letters and words. Begin to retell major events from story and begin to write, draw, and label things. For math, your child will learn to name shapes such as circles, square, rectangles, and triangles. Count to 20, recognize and duplicate patterns, recognize and name numbers zero to 10. They will identify objects up to 10 in a row or column. Use one-to-one -one correspondence, count up to 10 items in a scattered configuration, and identify measurable attributes, so things like little, big, long, short, tall, heavy, and light, and sort objects into sets. Here is an example of our school schedule. Teachers will have varied schedules, but the framework will be the same for all classes. We begin our school day at eight o'clock with the morning assembly. Currently, our assemblies are virtual. Next year, they may be virtual, they may be in person, they may be a hybrid. 
So we start at 8 o'clock with our morning assembly, and then we go to class for um, a lot of times. We begin with reading instruction, which includes read alouds by the teacher, comprehension lessons, centers, and small group instruction. Each class takes a 20-minute morning recess. Then we move into math, and that includes another time of whole group instruction. Students get to participate in activities with manipulatives. Lunch and afternoon recess are next, and that is a 40-minute time. Then we come to class for a rest time. Students do not have to sleep, but we do ask that all children at least rest quietly. Usually after rest time, depending on the time lunch is, students will have an afternoon snack. Sometimes that snacks in the morning if their lunch is later. And dismissal starts around 2.30. The schedule is a little varied for traffic flow. And, and so you may have a 2.20 time, a 2.35, a 2.40 time, but it's generally 2.30. We want our families to be involved with our school as much as possible. So we host several family events. Now, some events may be different than in years past due to COVID restrictions, such as this last school year. Some of our events have been virtual. Some of them have been canceled. We are not sure about our events for the next year, but traditionally we host Meet Your Teacher Night in the fall. We do that in, um, in August before school starts. We host Back to School Night after school has started, and that is usually the beginning of September. Also in September, we do Grandparents Day. We host two nights of parent-teacher conferences, one in the fall, one in the spring. We also do Freddy's Night, which is a fundraiser for our school. We go to Freddy's and part of the proceeds for that evening come back to the school. We do that twice a year. The book fair uh, we host is also in the fall and in the spring, and that helps our school purchase books. It helps your kids get books, so that's a fun event. We host a literacy night in the winter, usually December or January, we teach parents um, skills to work with their child at home on reading and literacy. And um, we also do a bingo night and a silent auction. And that's our math event. That's usually in April. And then in uh, May, we do a pre-K graduation. And like I said before, some of our events may be different but we try to maintain the integrity of the event to make it as special as possible for our families. And then some of the activities that our students get to participate in in the fall, they get to do some pumpkin investigations where every student gets their own pumpkin and then um, learns about pumpkins and then gets to sometimes paint them, carve them, do lots of different things. We have a fall party. We have, uh, that's before fall break. Um, we have a Valentine's Day party in February. We do Read Across America Week in March. In April, we have an Easter egg hunt. At the end of the year, we do a celebration of learning. And then some awards that we give out throughout the year are Wildcat Cubs of the Month, Roaring Reader Awards, and Letter Master Awards. Registration information, pay close attention to. We're going to have registration for just pre-K, April 19th through 29th, and that's at 111 West Grand. If you're unable to register during that time period, there still will be an opportunity in July during the regular registration for the rest of the school district. Here's some information. Make sure that you have, um, make sure your child's four on or before September 1st of the next school year. So if they um, turn four now, they are eligible to come to school. If they turn four all the way up to September 1, they are eligible to come to school. Um, go ahead and start talking with your physician about getting updated shots. Here's a list of the shots required for, um, for pre-K. Make sure you have a photo ID, a birth certificate. If you don't have that, go ahead and call the hospital of the child's birth and get a record. And then we will also need a proof of residency, and that can be a bill with your name on it. Families, I hope that the information has been helpful. My contact information is at the bottom of your screen. Please reach out to the school or my email if you have any questions moving forward. We really look forward to meeting you and your child in the fall. Hi friends, I'm Mrs. Taylor. I can't wait for y'all to come see us next year in pre-K. In pre-K, we do fun science experiments.
See you next year. Hi, I'm Mrs. Chambers at Washington Pre-K. We read stories about a big bad wolf and some pigs and a troll and a, some goats and a girl named Goldilocks and three bears. We can't wait to see you. Hey, I'm Mrs. Van Kieran and we learn all about our names. Hi, I'm Ms. Barger. I am a teacher at Washington Pre-K. Um, one of my favorite things growing up at school when I went to school at Roosevelt was going to gym class. It was probably my favorite class of all. So that's why I wanted to show you where you will be going each week with your teacher. Uh, some of the things that we have here is we get to play with balls. There's bean bags that we learn to toss and we learn to match our shapes and our numbers. And we have hula hoops so we can learn about balance. Uh, we also do lots of sensory activities in here where we learn to jump and hop and, and all the skills that we need growing up. So I hope you enjoy gym class as much as I did when I was growing up. Thank you. Hi, I'm Mrs. Smith and this is our cafeteria. You will come down here to eat breakfast and lunch. You will get a milk and you will go right to your tray to get your food. Our lunch ladies are great help. Bye. Hi guys, I'm Ms. Pinna, and at the Pre-K Center every morning we get to learn about the American flag and the Oklahoma flag and we do a pledge and we talk about where we live, what state we live in, and what country we live in. So I can't wait to see you and learn about the Pledge of Allegiance and the pledge to our Oklahoma flag. Um, hi future Pre-K Cubs, this is Mrs. Greenhagen and when you come to Washington you're going to learn about all the letters in the alphabet and if you can learn all of your letters, you'll get to wear the special letter cape and be a letter master. And this is how we do that. We get to go. You know your letters. And you'll get to take your picture and get a certificate. Hi, I'm Mrs. Smith. At Washington Pre-K, we learn through our play and centers. One of our favorite centers is the kitchen center. We can't wait to see you next fall. Hey friends, I am Mrs. Stafford and I am so excited for you to be learning with me next year. We will learn all kinds of math skills in pre-K. We will learn all about shapes, we will count numbers, and we will learn how to finish patterns. Do you know what comes next? Nod, clap, shake your hips. I can't wait to see you next year. Hi, my name is Megan Arnold, and here at the Pre-K Center, we get to slide for recess. Hi, I'm Mrs. Brandstetter. We just love learning rhymes and singing lots of fun songs at Washington Pre-K Center. And we love pointers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Chicken's out of the chicken pen. Five, 